What's up, Dynamite? It's Kennedy from Dynamic Reactions, and we are here for Lovecraft Country Season 1, Episode 7. I am. Now, last episode, it was a really good episode, a little bit of a change in tone, because we got to um, learn about Tix X from Korea and that she was a nine-tailed fox and how that worked out and that she saw him die etc etc I'm excited to see where this goes but this episode I am particularly excited about because we get to hang out with Miss Hippolyta this episode and I can't wait to see what happens when she finds out what all Atticus is up to and what all has been happening with George but I'm also really worried about her finding this ornery and learning how to access it because in the preview previously before she looked like she was in a trance or something i don't know if that's a good thing so i'm interested to see where we go i'm ready to get weird i am expecting the best and i can't wait to see what happens without further ado let's get into this reaction four reactions are on patreon starting at that five dollar tier so be sure to check that out and if you want to talk love craft with your girl we're live on twitch four days a week starting monday so be sure to check out that link in the description down below as well all right let's do this look at her putting that beautiful man to work She saw the house and the wreckage. At least it was daytime. Every beginning is in time and every limit of extension in space. Hmm. Every beginning is in time and every limit of extension in space. <sighs> oh, look, it's a little Orthena blue figure down at the bottom. So what? You love her? What? Is Tika having another dream? Oh no, it's Letty now. This is interesting. Wait, she pregnant? Oh no, that's bad. Oh no, uh-uh. Y'all better uh, get out of whatever it is you're getting into. I don't like none of that. None of that. Letitia. Letitia pregnant. <laughs> she done got a sign from the ancestors to stop it right now. You self sabotaging though. Mm hmm. Nope. Sorry. That is what that looks like. Oh boy. And Tick is a product of his time period. We who that hurts. Ow. I wonder how much she knows now. Take a photo album. 
<laughs> I don't know. I don't believe it's burned. You know, a book like that might have some sort of protection on it. I just don't think it would slip away from them that easily. That is a whole observatory. And it is um nighttime. There are polywogs out here in these streets. She had a tattoo. That tattoo. A mark. Yes, give me visuals inside that pretty head. Oh, thank God. Okay, 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 okay. How did Atticus get there so fast? Oh my God, oh my God. I don't like this. Ah, uh, shoot, 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 shoot. Nah, girl, you on some other planet. You on a moon. You somewhere. This is giving me Tron legacy vibes, no lie. Okay, Afrolicious. Come on, Hippolyta. Yes, queen! I was scared, but this is turning out to be a black woman empowering experience that I am totally here for. Let's go! Yes! We love to see it. You better tell them, girl! Uh, you might want to look behind you. Her hair looks so gorgeous. It's just like out of her daughter's comic. I knew it was going to circle around. You always come back for your babies. Hmm? She'll be back. I'm not worried about her in the least bit. Don't shut off the machine, Tick. What you doing, bro? You best get out. Why well, I feel uh, George Freeman. What about Hippolyta? 
I'm worried. And now. No. Dang it. Frick. Frick, 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 frick. Okay, we, um, we gonna watch the promo real quick. While I gather my thoughts. Hold on. Oh God, not that poor baby. No, we were all meant to go through trials and tribulations. But this magic has haunted us, tested us. Just like the devil. Perfect alignment. What kind of long nail demon messing with my baby? Uh-uh. to a head wait a minute let me oh my god okay okay first of all let's talk about this episode the character development with Hippolyta was outstanding we're like, talking about the shrinking of the black woman now and during that time to provide for your family to do all this like all these black women with these incredible minds and they're all shrunk because of circumstances whether that be you having a husband and having the expectation to cook and clean all the time which those are good things but at the same time your husband should be able to do them they're basic human things like women of color especially should have the right and do have the ability to experience things, have things that we love, hobbies, interests, uh, passions, outside of being a lover for anybody, husband, wife, non-binary person. And if we stifle that because of some societal norm that we feel like we're supposed to fulfill or um, because of the fear that we have because of racial tensions, then so much of our God-given potential is wasted in this episode. Did such a beautiful job of illustrating why that happens, what it looks like when it happens, and how uh, it affects the woman that it happens to. And it was a gorgeous, gorgeous episode. And I feel like also for her character, it was a good process of grief. Now, um, I don't know if Lovecraft Country was the name of the travel guide that was recently coming out or if it was a book so I'm wondering because I know she said it wasn't a time machine but I'm wondering if it was in fact a time machine and because of what happened George is now alive I don't know I'm worried about D because we all know that uh the comic was left there and the white cops are gonna come looking for her because they think she knows about magic whatever but i'm interested to see how this all comes to a head the next three episodes because it looks like it's gonna be a doozy all i know is my baby dd better not get hurt period okay period as always misha green beautiful writing um my favorite line oh my gosh um, when she said it feels like they found a way of lynching me without tightening the noose around my neck. That was like, oh, 
Oh my god. That that line was gorgeous. Um I am so grateful for the show, grateful for the craziness, the nerdiness that's going on, but also the sheer unadulterated, uncensored look into blackness, the beauty of it, the struggle of it, the truth of it. It's just gorgeous. And as a black woman myself, I truly appreciate it. Thank y'all so much for watching this episode of Lovecraft with me. If you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I react to Lovecraft every single Monday, so be sure to turn on notifications for that. Um, if you want to donate to the channel monetarily, you can do so through the cash shop to PayPal. The Venmo link's in the description as well as by my face cam here. Also, be sure to check out Patreon for early access and, um, those full Lovecraft reactions. Early access to edited reactions is $2 tier. Full reaction access for Lovecraft is at the $5 tier. You get them a day earlier. So... Yeah, I am just, this was such a beautiful episode. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave me your thoughts. Um, If you want to talk Lovecraft live with me, we're live on Twitch every single Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern. I'm probably live right now, so be sure to check out that link in the description below. Come in, chat with me. I'd love to hear your thoughts, discussions, etc. And... Yeah, don't forget to make your world full of positivity this week. Special shout out to my patrons, my mother, Jason Short, Harry Wiseman, and Jojo. Their support is so appreciated, as is yours. I will see y'all on the next one. Peace out.